couple of thank yous uh, for the fans. Unbelievable environment to start that game off. Felt fantastic down there. I uh, appreciate everybody coming out. Uh, we had Commissioner Phillips here from the ACC. Appreciate him coming to Blacksburg and spending some time with us. You know, obviously disappointed. You know, we just we didn't play complimentary football, and we're we're at a point right now as a team we have to do that. You know, we can't leave too much to overcome in any phase, and uh, you know we just kind of. You know, either we weren't making them earn it or we were shooting ourselves in the foot a little bit. So, you know, we've, we've got we to own it and we got to be better in a bunch of areas. Um, and we can be. That's the encouraging thing. That's a good football team. I don't want to take anything away from West Virginia. Uh, I thought they probably played their best game of the season. And they've got, uh, they've got a pretty good football team, got some good skill. And, uh, you know, we play a cleaner, smarter game. You know, it's, I think it was 16-10 in the fourth there, going into the fourth. We, we got a chance, and we didn't play very well. So, I'll take some questions. Raise your hand, we'll get to your wireless mic, Barbara. Yeah, Coach, in terms of establishing an identity for your program, I, I know tonight wasn't what you want, but where do you feel like you are in kind of establishing that within your players, within your practice, the identity you want for this team? Yeah, I think, um, you know, we got to be a team that plays with fundamentals and techniques. I'm a big believer in that. And I feel like right now, in tight situations, we have a tendency to press and, and not play with fundamentals and techniques. And, you know, we, we play outside the framework and we kind of, we get out of sorts. And now we got to fix that. And it's fixable. Andy. 35 rushing yards tonight. What's missing uh, in this ground game right now for you guys? Yeah, I'm not sure, to be honest. Um, I, I'm disappointed, but I'm also surprised. I really thought we'd be able to run the ball a little bit better. Uh, we changed up the plan a little bit and spread it out a little bit more to run it tonight and had some motions involved. And, but we got to look at it. I mean, we've we got to be able to run the football. It makes it so much more difficult to play defense. So. I think we got a passing game that can, can work pretty good for us, can function. Um, but we've got to complement it with the run game. That fourth and one in the first half you choose to go for it. What are you looking for on that play? Yeah, I want to be a team that we feel good about going for it on fourth and one. I'm going I'm to keep investing in that. Um, the type of team that we need to be, we got to be able to get it on fourth and one down in the red zone. I know it's easy to, to second guess after the fact, but the calling the timeout before the field goal try for um, ended up giving them a little more time to get that score right before the half. And any kind of regret there? Or? No, I was trying to save time for our group. You know, they were going to let it run down and, and kick the field goal, and so let's let's save some time here. We'll still have one timeout for our unit. Uh, we got to do a better job defensively. I didn't call a very good two-minute situation. Um, but we got to make plays and get off the field. I mean, that was critical. You know, that was critical. And, and then, the, you know, the drive in the second half with the two personal fouls. I mean, those are two game-changing series for sure. David and then Aaron. Brent, you, you just mentioned the two personal fouls on the one touchdown drive. But for the second time in as many losses, you committed 15 penalties. Yeah. What are you seeing on the side? Are they undisciplined? Are they sloppy? What, what to your eye are you seeing? Yeah, again, I go back to this. I think, I think we press and we kind of get out of sorts. You know, we feel like we got to do things uh, above and beyond. Um, we got to, you know, we got to stay in the framework and play with fundamentals and techniques and be mindful of what we're doing. Um, you know, sometimes I look out there and we're just kind of, it's like a panic. And, you know, we're not playing together. We're not playing as one. We're not. You know, and, and, and we got to coach them through that. We got we to gotta fix that. Um, you know, that's the second time in, in a tight situation. We just, we didn't respond the way I want us to. And we can improve there. Aaron. Yeah, is, is that a little discouraging? Because you had cleaned up the penalties, you know, the last two games. I think you only had 10 total in those two games. Is, do you feel like you're kind of back to square one with, with that? Yeah, I'm situation? definitely disappointed in the number of penalties. But, uh, again, I think I told the guys in the locker room, it's, this is kind of where we're at as a team right now. You know, there's a lot. You don't, you, don't fix, you, know, you don't fix certain things. You can look at the stats and the number of penalties, but you don't fix certain things, you know, just in a couple of weeks. I mean, it's an overall mindset. 
and, and you know, the manner at which you play, uh, what you're investing in, what you believe in, snap after snap. So that we still, you know, we're still a work in progress in that area. And, and the most important thing to me is that we learn from each and every one of these situations and we grow to become a more mature football team. Yeah, JT Daniels had about 200 yards passing. They ran for 200 yards on the ground. What did you think of your defensive unit? And it seemed like towards the end of the game they got tired because they were on the field so much. Yeah, that's going to be an ingredient for us, right? We can't play too many snaps on our side of the ball. And uh, some of that was our own doing. Some of it was West Virginia. And some of it was us being able to move the ball better. But uh, 26 points, 400 yards against that group, you're going to give yourself a chance. Um, you know, like I said, you got two drives right there, the two-minute one and the one with the two personal fouls. And you, 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 you come out of those two okay, and you're probably feeling pretty good about the defense with the exception of the tackling. You know, I was disappointed tonight. They got some explosive guys, but uh, we didn't tackle very well. You know, we were grabbing and we weren't bringing our feet. And we got a habit right now that, that's been there for four weeks of dropping our head. Um, you know, we got to fix that. But, um, you know, again, we just, there's just too much to overcome. You know, we're not the team that's going to do that. Uh, we got to play complimentary ball and, and make people earn it. After the fourth down stop that they got, it seemed the momentum that your offense had didn't seem like they ever came back at that point. Did, did, you, did you notice something different body language-wise or anything from them? Uh, I don't know if, you know, obviously, I think everybody in that unit wants to feel like, let's go. You know, and I want to believe in those guys. I mean, I, 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 tr I struggle not going for it on fourth and one down there. We got to be the type of team that can get that. You know, and they were upset. But, uh, you know, I, I think, you know, you got to have confidence in your run game. They did tonight. They felt pretty good about it. Um, and we didn't. And, you know, it's, you feel a lot better about calling a game, you know, when you got people off balance. And, uh, you know, I think, you know, I'm pleased with the way Grant's throwing the ball and just, we, we got a chance. We got to fix the run game. Wells missed a couple open guys deep early in the game. How much could that have changed the tenor of the game if he hit on either of those? And, and how do you feel like he played late? It, feel it, like he was pressing a little bit late as well? I think he was pressing late, but I think um, he threw the ball pretty well. You know, you're not going to hit all those downtown. I mean, you'd like to hit probably one more than we did, obviously. But, um, you got to take those shots and, you know, when you connect on them and the you know, same thing goes, people take shots on us and they don't connect on all of them, you know, and that's kind of part of it. It's, it's, it's a low percentage completion, but, you know, to me, he's, he's Grant's playing and throwing the ball well enough for us to win. Um, I feel that way. Let's go Ricky and then Mike. Brett, you noted that you felt like your team's pressing in certain situations. Is that something that you noticed in the off season, or is that something that's kind of perked up here in the last few weeks as the season started? Uh, you know, we had one scrimmage in the stadium where it kind of it, it felt that way. Uh, it was in the stadium. It was late in camp. It was our last kind of – and um, but outside of that, it's just hard to really know until you get into some games and get a feel for the situations that you go through and how you're responding. Um, you know, so this will be a good challenge. You know, this will be a good challenge for these guys to, to kind of come back from. And uh, they got to own it, and I think they will. And we will as coaches. Mike. Coach, defensively, their first three trips into the red zone, you did hold them to a field goal. Anything encouraging in terms of the red zone defense? Do you, do you like what your unit's doing? Yeah, now? I think the red zone defense was, was good tonight. It kept us in the game. You know, it really did, and that's part of it. I mean, you make people kick field goals, and you're going to have a chance. Because we didn't play very well, and we had a chance to win the game, you know, all the way into the fourth quarter. Um, you know, and, and we weren't playing that well. But uh, when you can force field goals and play good red zone defense, you, you know, you got a good shot. Thank you, Coach. Appreciate it. All right. Thanks, everybody.